Hello everyone, today we are going to automate your LinkedIn posting using Airtable and Make.com. Let's divide the process into three different steps. Step number one, content preparation in Airtable. Step number two, creating the automation in Make.com. Step number three, execution and monitor. Here I have my Airtable database where I have posted all the content that I would like to post on LinkedIn. As you can see, I have the post content, I have the post title, and I have the status of that particular post and when I want to upload that particular post and the timing and the record ID and the actual image that I want to upload on the LinkedIn. Okay, let's understand a bit more. Okay, in order to create like this is normal, this is normal when there are two main parts that you need to understand in this particular uh, database or you can say in this particular tab like whenever I you know change the status of uh, draft so sorry draft to ready to post what it will do is it it will send or you can say using the filters we will be able to filter out if a, if a record has a ready to post status it means we have already added it all the things thus thus this all of that and we want to you know post that particular thing on linkedin so we will to trigger the automation we will you know change this status to ready to post and when we do that it is going to send the data to here okay but if the data is like if the date is not today it will not be like it means the date has to be today or it has to be upcoming okay so what let's uh, let's do this thing again this is a old automation so i'm not even so I'll just change today's take. Now you will be able to see the post, you know, the post content here. In order to do this filtering, I have added these two filters. Okay. So the when the status is ready to post and the post time is today. So it means whenever, like for example, you want to, you know, schedule this particular post for tomorrow, you will not be able to see this particular post. Uh, if I add that particular thing in the, uh, just a minute. For example, this like tomorrow's date is 28 i'm just gonna add that and i'm gonna add it to ready to post okay i have one like this record has meet one deadline or um, like one one requirement but the second requirement is not still there so it will not be able to you know show here okay now there is another thing we need to talk about one which is a uh, table script or you can say a table database like them there's another thing that we need to talk about which is scripts okay so in order to you know tell make.com that we have a new record or we have a new you know post what we have done is we have we have this linkedin like the table is linkedin and if you can see table is linkedin and when the ready to post is available when a ready to post like that is a, itself a view okay so these two, this is one view, this is one, two view, okay? One is where we are currently working on and these are the posts where we just want to, you know, post on the social media in today's state. So what it will do is whenever some kind of record enters in this view, the second view where we have the post, it will trigger the automation, okay? It will take the, you know, it will take this one, it will take the suggested URL or suggested, you know, record and what is it is going to do is it is going to run this script okay in order first thing remember it needs it will require this particular id record id so make sure that when you are creating this airtable database you have this particular thing just like this just like this okay do not change anything else this will provide you the record id or uh, if you go back in the not in the if you come back here and if you see this particular script what it will do is it will trigger this webhook which i have like again we will we will be learning more about webhook in the next step this particular webhook is uh, gonna you know when when this script runs it is gonna open this webhook okay this script is gonna open this webhook and it is gonna send make.com uh, a trigger that we have a new query and we have i want you to trigger so airtable will be talking to make.com in in that sense okay another thing that you need to take care of is make sure the name is same record id and you have the record id in here okay just click on the add button and you will be able to do that particular thing okay click on the you know the test button so that you have the you know the, the table is able to contact make.com 
do that okay so this particular thing is here make sure that you copy the exact one and you when you are creating this up you are not really know your own automation you will have to change this particular url from here to here okay and hit test it will me it will make the you know it or make dot com a call and we will be able to do it okay so let's go to the make dot com and test this particular a table connection now what we will be doing is in the second step we will be creating a scenario in make dot com in order to you know get the information from a table so first thing first as you know here we have a web hook okay uh we here we have a web hook but this url is not currently working what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how to create a scenario in air tip uh, in make.com so what we will do we will doing is we'll click here we'll search for web hook we will click on custom web hook which will which is going to receive the data okay now we have the web hook just click on add the name whatever the thing right? twitter or linkedin ling linkedin or you can call it air table to linkedin okay do not do anything with this one uh click on save and it is going to provide you this url you have to click copy okay and you have to go to a table and you have to update this url remove then update okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to save it and i'm going to press hit test and you will be seeing here i am going to get my data okay successfully now when you know i clicked on it now you can see this data has been sent this particular record id has been sent to make.com okay now if i just run it once more okay i'll click one more time i am going to get a record id just to you know yeah see now we have this particular record id from our a table database i'm just going to click save in here update and i'm going to click here and if you see this is the same record id that we wanted make.com to get okay now what we will be doing is next we will be is going to call a table will get record okay so based on the record id again you have you will have to connect your a table database oh, sorry you will have to connect your a table entire account so that you know you don't have to you know again add all the things again and again i have already connected so i'm just going to use that one uh, i'm going to choose uh, the database name auto hosting something okay we have it here and uh, the table and the record id is from that web book that we just received okay and that's it now what i'm going to do is i'm going to run it individually i'm going to paste that web like that record id and now as you can see this particular data like as a designer it's crucial and now you can see as a designer is crucial like all of all the things are you know i already have whatever i wanted okay now what i need to do next is i need to call like again a table is not giving you if you see closely here a table is not giving you the post like the the image url which you will require to post okay So what we will be doing is we're gonna call one module, okay, which is gonna be HTTP, and we're gonna request download, like get a file, and the URL which we will be getting is this URL, and this is the A table URL, okay. Here we are getting the you know width and height and everything, and the what was the file name, but what we need is we just need the URL from that, okay. We're gonna click on the URL. Now that's it, okay. what like the next step is we will be adding the module from linkedin okay create a user post okay we're going to create a user post okay we already have the file okay which is connected to this one what do we need is we need the one second why this is coming here okay what do we need the next is we need the title title is going to be the post title we need the post content which is going to be post content here where do i want to publish this i can schedule to you know only my connection public or whatever it is or to my feed okay what i'm going to do is after that i'll add one more thing here what i want is when the post is updated 
on like uploaded on the platform i what i want is i want to update a air table record this air table record so that this status where we have ready to post becomes scheduled okay oh sorry published so what i'm going to click is i'm going to click air table i'm going to update a record i'm going to just follow the old the old one i'm just going to call it not the call it i'm just going to look for the same uh, air table database that i al- already added here and again the same thing i'm going to look for the record id which i already have it from this one and i don't need to update this all what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove this one from map to manual okay and uh, we gonna do it published okay and we don't need to do anything else okay that's it now this is the complete automation that you will require to in order to you know do the thing like do uh, posting on linkedin okay so let's do a quick demo here this will be the third part of our video where we are doing the demo okay so let's see i want to post this particular you know blog post on my linkedin right now okay i'm going to open my linkedin what the hell oh man really sorry about my internet i'm just going to click on my profile again we can connect on linkedin guys this okay um as you can see these are my recent post uh, i did a post 2 months ago okay now let's let's try to run this particular automation let's make sure to save it before you do anything save it okay i'm just going to change this thing to draft so that i have nothing in here okay now this thing is available here and i have everything already here so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to start this thing schedule which is working currently i'm going to click back now whatever the record that it will receive we will be able to see here okay i'm just going to press edit to post it has sent the data here and now in any second it is going to receive the data as you can see now you can see something went wrong and something went wrong with the you know linkedin module module or you can say so what i'm going to do is i'm going to see what went wrong and you know just going to fix it so let's see look at the error to verify manchu connection or to posting or something okay it is unable to verify what happened like with my linkedin so i need to reconnect my linkedin uh, in order to do this thing what is today's date uh, this is let's call it yt okay i'm just gonna click it again you will be getting you know authorization again right now i have hit uh, you know i did that particular thing i'm just gonna add it uh, id password you will get you know area where you need to confirm you know you will you will have to allow meek.com to you know access your linkedin okay now the thing is here we all have we have everything whatever we wanted and i think we are ready to you know do the test again okay so save save okay saved okay i'm just going to go back okay there is this one record i'm going to delete the old data okay i'm just going to go read the old data i'm going to change this status to draft again and i'm going to press ready to post i'm waiting that waiting for the data in here and it is posting guys it is posting it is working i hope so oh it has worked okay and i'll just refresh my linkedin page so if on my internet guys okay you can see the post is already generated here and the everything is already here you can see and the best part is the the status is already changed and yeah and that's how we automate our linkedin posting using airtable and meek.com here are more videos related to design and automations